Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Pharmacypedia. This is Dr. Shikha Chauhan. Let us try to figure out the differences between cosmetics and cosmeceuticals. All of us are aware about the terms cosmetics, cosmeceuticals, but when it comes to purchasing the product, it is really a difficult task to identify what are cosmetics and how are cosmeceuticals different from cosmetics. Do we really need cosmeceuticals or do we really need cosmetics? And let us try to figure out the basic approach in the formulation development of both the kinds of the product. So let's start. As the name is cosmeceuticals, <clears throat> basically this word cosmeceuticals is derived from two words, cosmo and suticals. So it is the combination of cosmo and pharmaceutical, cosmetics and pharmaceuticals. So the combination of cosmetics and pharmaceuticals make the word cosmeceuticals. So as the name suggests, the pharmacology, pharmaceutical implications of the cosmetics or you can say cosmetics which are further developed or enhanced in such a way to improve the biological efficacy to include uh, to improve the biological enhancement and function of the cosmetics. So you can say cosmeceuticals are the advancement of the cosmetics or you can say that it is a extension of the cosmetics whereby you are not only enhancing the beauty of the skin you are not only enhancing the improvement of your product but also at the same time you are focused to remove out the pharmaceutical or you can say therapeutic uh, uh, improvement in of the product so along with the cosmetic enhancement there is therapeutic enhancement which ultimately results in the root co cause problem analysis so when we talk about the drugs the, what are drugs drugs are basically the uh, the substances which are used for the prevention treatment and mitigation of your problems or disease so in the same sense or in the on the same approach cosmeceuticals were the enhancement of the cosmetics part with the aim to actually solve the root cause problem so there whereby they are basically uh, not only implemented for the purpose of cosmetic enhancement but also along with that they are empowered to improve the root cause problem which was not actually done by the cosmetics so the there is no such as such category uh, called cosmeceuticals which is recognized by the regulations but the their biological activity is more than the cosmetics so a product can be at the same time a drug or a cosmetic or a combination of both but the term cosmeceutical has no meaning under the law so as the first time the word cosmeceutical was introduced by dermatologist Dr. Albert Kligman in 1984 and is derived from a combination of the word cosmetic and pharmaceutical as I have told you earlier. These are the products having more therapeutic effects are, and have a more beneficial effect on the skin and the beauty products. Uh, like cosmetics they are also applied in the same manner like topical creams but contain ingredients that have an more effect on the skin cell functions they are better absorbed they goes deep in, inside into the skin and functions in the enhancement and eradication of the root cause problem which is causing like such problem therefore the cosmeceutical product limited to like skin care products like anti wrinkle cream anti aging uh, aging cream etc so when we try to figure out the list of the ingredients and the differences between cosmetics and cosmeceuticals, they basically contains active ingredients including the phytochemicals, vitamins and are applied topically to influence the biological function of the skin. They are basically intended to improve appearance from a functional standpoint. So how does it to make it different from the cosmetics cosmetics don't remove the root cause problem cosmeceuticals work to remove the root cause problem enhancement by penetrating deeper into the skin they involve uh, incorporations of various vitamins various phytochemicals deeper into the skin and they are not uh, uh, like cosmetics are just concerned to adorn the body in a stylish fashion but they they do work on the real cause so I think now you can understand the dif basic difference between cosmetics and cosmeceuticals. Now the common ingredients associated with the cosmeceuticals are like sunscreen using titanium dioxide, zinc oxide, uh, various combinations 
of antioxidants, vitamin C, alpha lipoic acid, nicotinamide, hydroxy acids, improves which improves the skin textures and reduces the skin signs of aging they are also much very much uh, implemented in skin lightening creams using ascorbic acid kojic acid peptides and protein deliveries and along with that the various types of the fruits herbs vegetable extracts phytochemicals various types of oils like olive oil mineral oil cocoa butter lanolin petrolatum etc so when I told you about the cosmeceuticals, they are basically applied topically, penetrate deeper into the skin, have the advanced function than the cosmetics, alleviate the root cause problem analysis. So the selection of the ingredients for the formulation of cosmeceutical is different. It incorporates high range products like vitamin A, retinols, vitamin C, coenzymes, peptide, even tea extracts because they contain a lot of antioxidants, grape seed uh, extracts, niacinamide, different sorts of vitamins. They support a large number of the product. And um, the basic difference between cosmetics and cosmeceuticals is that cosmeceuticals work on the biological improvement, biological efficacy of the product. So they are able to penetrate into the deeper into the skin the, again the skin have several layers so they penetrate deeper into the skin are and are able to solve the root cause problems like the pigmentation or like you can say uh, acne problem solutions or like any sort of the uh, skin disease they are able to alleviate such kind of the problems in a better way and for a long term effect whereby when we use the cosmetics on the skin disease for the uh, such kind of the problem uh, eradication they are not able to function effectively since they have restricted themselves to the top layer and they don't penetrate the uh, deeper layer since it cannot pass through the dermal epidermal joining which is the area between the epidermis and the dermis so if it is not able to cross that joint definitely it is not going to elevate the uh, and uh, solve the root cause problem of like hyperpigmentation or like wrinkles or like acne treatment so it has been found that cosmeceuticals containing varied class of the ingredients including the antioxidants including vitamins including phytochemicals including various extract juices are able to alleviate and eradicate the problems like wrinkles anti-aging problems hyperpigmentation acne in a better way and for a longer duration of the time so a product can be classified as a drug if any substance or a combination of substances that has the ability to cure or prevent a specific disease. Its main purpose is to restore, correct or modify the physio physiological functions through the pharmacological actions. So I hope now you are very much clear about the basic difference of cosmetics and cosmeceuticals and the formulation strategies for cosmetics and cosmeceuticals. Now, again, a very important question which arises in our mind is that are cosmeceuticals required for everyone? Yes, they are. But in particularly those who are more concerned with the aging skin lines, wrinkles, pigmentations, problematic large pores, congestion, white hats or roughly textured skin. Even teens today requires the uh, uh, pro elevation of the problems associated with the skin and it is being understood that due to the number of fresh phytochemicals extracts they are able to attain a good quality of the skin and eradicate the problems from the root cause since they are able to deeply penetrate into the skin so as of now if you are given a choice for selection of cosmetics on cosmeceuticals you should look ahead for the key ingredient analysis you should look forward for the presence of such substances which can actually cause the root cause and uh, the problems in a better way so the, uh, there are certain skin indications that is in, in which the skin is not functioning in a proper way. It needs a solution. It needs, to, it needs, there are certain some factors which uh, de degrade as the uh, age advances. So in that case for the anti-aging treatment, cosmeceuticals are preferred in preferred choice for selection. And moreover, they also supplement the skin which is lacking in the cosmetics. 
Cosmeceuticals actives are bioidentical or biomimetic, resulting in an efficient delivery into the skin layers and cells and supporting the natural skin process. So, we have already discussed about the key ingredients that is presence of various vitamins, vitamin A, retinol, retinal dehyde, vitamin C, vitamin B3, hydroxy acids, phytochemicals, then extracts, oils like olive oil, jojoba oil and all these advanced hydroxy acids which, which actually improves and penetrate deeper into the skin for solving the these kinds of the problems like anti wrinkles, acne, hyperpigmentation etc. So you can say it is not only meant for the uh, uh, people uh, for the anti-aging uh, for the senior people but also at the sa same time uh, teenagers problem like acne treatment can be better solved by the cosmeceuticals and for a longer duration of that time. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please do like, share and subscribe for the channel. Also, please comment in the comment box. And I will be bringing such kinds of the video further also. So, please encourage and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.